Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cat Potato SMP. And today I'm here on the Cat Potato SMP and I, I messed up that intro, didn't I? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And I'm here today on the Cat Potato SMP server. And I'm still not sure that's the right intro. I haven't done a proper one of these in so long. Seriously. Ugh. I don't know. And, oh, that's actually quite a nice sort of view right the way down. Obviously, this area is not complete, and we'll be working on that today. But firstly, you may have noticed my chest, all of my things really are running very low, but especially my pickaxe and chest plate. Look at those things. So I'm going to take them off and we are going to head over to spawn so we can sort them out. And it's night time, so first things first, I'm gonna have a rest. I'm over at spawn and this area has been cleaned out and lit up. And there was a sign in base, in the nether saying Katsu and cat space, which makes me think that possibly some people have actually been on uh, for once. So, perhaps some things be di Yeah, this seems slightly more looked after. Oh, was that there before? I'm honestly not sure. I cannot remember. I know those were there. Uh, and then obviously we've got the shopping district there. I also can't quite remember where I'm supposed to be going. If I, oh, I'll go down by the zombie spawner. Wait, I don't have any diamonds. Oh, I've got to go all the way back to base. Having come all the way back to my base, I now realise that my diamonds are kept in the ender chest. <sighs> is it just me or is this new too? No, uh, yeah, this is definitely new. I cannot think what was here before, if anything was here before, but is this someone new on the server? Is this their base? Yeah, it's definitely new because it's got a 1.12 bed. Oh, that's... Oh, and that's finally done too! I've been waiting for ages to see what that was, ever since I built the shopping district. It's a good thing I didn't build here in the end, isn't it? Oh, okay, so it's still not complete. But yeah, it looks like Floria City is expanding. And now I'm going to have to try and find a way to get over this fence. One thing that I do want to do while I'm here is... Let me see... Oh, I don't... Silk tut... Oh, I'll have to use this. I just want to... Go... Don't know how or why there's ice there. I just want to get a little bit of cobblestone to make a couple of furnaces so that you can smelt chainmail armor, which is something zombies drop, and as of 1.11.2, it will drop. It will give you iron nuggets, which can be used to craft iron ingots. So if I take all these, and apparently, oh, is it to do with equipping some armor? Anyway, I'll just sort this out quickly. Do you know what? I think someone's added these, which is really kind of them. So, if you're watching, and you saw these be added, thanks. I've gotta say, I really like the shopping district from this view. It's, it's really nice, even though there's nothing here yet. Next episode, maybe? Wink. I forgot that I had this here with all this stuff in it. Oh, I'll have to... I'll have to steal a lot of this. What? Look at the quartz! So much quartz! And the redstone lamps! I knew I'd put them all somewhere. Just added a few signs so people know what this is all about. I know the iron will definitely smell, but moment of truth... <gasps> Oh, that's so good. Honestly though, I should like probably get some hoppers or something maybe. That's so good though. It does just annoy me that the texture's the wrong way. 
but, you know. Which reminds me... Neat segue. Hold on. 33 levels! I really need to get amending. Let's check out this. Well, that's only 9. Why is that 33 levels? If I do it the other way around. Oh. Looks like I'm going to be getting some levels for a bit. That has really exhausted my diamonds. And one thing I've forgotten is that over at Cat's Old Base, you can trade with villagers, and that way you get levels much quicker. It's taken an awful lot of trading. I mean, seriously. I'm very sorry. I kind of used up all of Cat's stuff. But they're, they're all in farms anyway. Oh, okay, right, yeah. I'll just chuck all this in. But I've finally got 33 levels, which means I can head back and repair my chest plate. Something I have meant to tell you guys was... I'm now using a Vanilla Tweaks resource pack, which means that I and Nuggets are facing the same way. Also, some other things might have changed. We'll just see as we go along. So as you can see here, uh, pickaxes with lower, or tools with lower durability will look slightly different. And if you want to get a pack like this, I will leave a link in the description to the texture pack to exhumavoid.com. Look, clear glass, all lovely. Also, I think different coloured water, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, see you guys back at base. Yeah, the water's different colours because of clearer water. And I think I also possibly got rid of um, uh, the underwater face thing. And what is that? Every time I come here, something is different. It's really cool. Anyway, yeah, see you back at base. Seriously, guys, just, just look how nice. Now that we've done that, we can finally get on with today's episode, which will be, as last episode was, down here. So, I need to do a little bit. This is smaller than I remember. But the plan is, is to sort of cover this bit over with white stained glass. And then in this floor area, just have a bunch of redstone contraptions going off all the time. And up here, I think, I want to have a super smelter. Maybe hidden crafting table? Not too sure about that though. And I don't know, maybe some tin storage or something? That could be quite cool actually. Like these planks sort of drop away into a staircase. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get some redstone stuff together and be back. Oh, I'm struggling so much. I don't know whether to actually put things out here or whether to have like them in a in a room over here or something. Because we could have a piston door into a little bunker here with the furnaces. But then while we have the... Oh, well, it can't go along there, can it? But it could go back there. Okay, I think I've got an idea. We've hit a bump, guys, because I only have nine slime balls, and for at least the first plan, I need twelve. So I might have to go back to spawn and see if they've got any around there. Hmm. I read that slimes spawn in swamps. So I'm here in a swamp at night, hoping to see a slime somewhere. Oh gosh, creeper. Okay. No slimes anywhere as of yet. Guys, there's actually one slime. And it, and it didn't drop a slime ball? What? What? Ugh. Okay. Try two.
Come at me, Mr. Slime. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, yes. Four. That might actually be enough. I'll just get some more anyway, because, you know, slime balls are useful. Look, it's a zombie villager. And as much as I want zombies, I'm going to need to kill you, because, uh... Yeah. N no more slimes, though, unfortunately. All the pistons are in. Now we just need some blocks. What is the ceiling made of? Okay, I reckon we can work with that. <sighs> First I need to know if I actually remember how to make these. Hopefully I do. I did have to look it up, but I do believe that we need two in the middle. Ah, uh, that's, that's why. Uh, a repeater. Hmm? Repeater there. And there. And those are on two ticks. Also, we want the input to be over here. That will need to be a redstone torch. So now, if we head out, we should see that. Yes, that is what we want. Now we just need to wire up the pressure plates. Do you know what's making this really difficult? Yeah. Every time I try and do something, every blooming time. Okay, I think I've done this right. If I just break this. Okay. Yeah. Slight issue with it. I think we might need to fix the redstone up there. The torch tower was interfering, so we're gonna have to take this over there. Hmm. If I'm right. Yes! Oh, that works! Now we just need to put a super smelter behind it. This has caused me an awful lot of trouble, so I hope this works. <sighs> yes! You can get to all of them, not quite. Okay, now you can get to all of them, and I think I might just add some sea lanterns for appearances. Okay, so now that the uh, hidden super smelter is done, we just need to do a little bit of this. And I think it's pretty simple, I believe. Uh, is it two and four? I think. And then do we need an input there? Is that it? Okay, that's not quite it. Okay, I've done a bit of work. And I think... That... No. I think it's more the input right now. Let me just see where it's supposed to be. Give me a second. Okay, so it looks like this block here needs to be the input. Which... Oh, this is not working. And the issue was the redstone torch. Now, if we take a look, if we take a look, and... Okay, yes! Finally! Now we just need to try and wire in an input. Is this gonna work? No, no it's not. Why, oh, do we need to make that a repeater instead? Has that worked? Yes, it has. If I'm right... Why is that stay powered? Oh, ugh. Right. Just... Fine. Oh. Hmm. 
Why is this so hard? With any luck. Yes. Okay. On to the next project, which is a drop away staircase. <laughs> oh. I've decided to skip out on this. But this I'm not too sure about. We don't have very long left in the episode. I mean, I've already gone over time. But you know what? Let's put the glass floor in anyway and see how we go. Sand. Sand. Oh. Uh, oh, that'll do. If I have any space in my inventory. I do understand that this probably won't be enough. But. That looks pretty cool to me. I don't know about you guys, but I am liking that. Hmm, I need to smelt all this sand quickly. Oh wait, how handy. Whoa, that's amazing. While that's smelting, something I do want to do is quickly change the lighting up in this place. Ooh, do we... Seriously not have any other redstone. We can't just be- oh, I suppose we can use the redstone torches instead of redstone blocks. That would be a slightly more efficient way. Well, I should probably change this floor out too. Okay, I've done that, but I think for the sake of symmetry, I might just do that. I know it doesn't look that great, but as long as no one flicks those levers, nothing will be affected. Oh, look at that! It's almost entirely smelted, just like that. And just like that, this segment is done! Now, I'm not going to have the ladder here forever. Excuse me. Now, I'm not going to have the ladder here forever. But I am trying to think what I want to do with here. Originally I wanted to have a bunch of pistons firing and stuff all the time, but... I built some stuff in my redstone testing world, and aside from being very bulky, so I'm not good at compacting redstone, it was also... laggy. Which is not something I really want. So... I don't know. Guys, there's a pig. I need to get him in a... Pen, I don't have pigs. Okay, guys, so I've done something with it. And, oh, I'm gonna put down torch, aren't I? Let's start by doing this. Ta da! Okay, so it's not you know, the nicest sounding thing in the world, and I might change it to play a slightly nicer sound. But, you know, it's got the pistons, it's got flashing redstone lamps, it's got... Oh my god, I left the torches down there. Okay, I've sorted that out, guys. And that about does it for this area down here. We can definitely label this as done. I'm, hmm, I do... Probably want to add in a light or two, maybe like here or something. If we get rid of that and add in that. I don't know, we could have one, whoops, like there. If we cover that up. I mean, it's just, oh, well, they're the same level, it's not that great. Oh no, oh, oh thank god, could you imagine, could you imagine if all that had just gone down the drain, all that work that I put five minutes into, but anyway, we have a hidden crafting bench, we have a hidden smelting station, and a nice little area to walk about, and if we head up here, We've got a lovely storage system, automatic, and a bedroom. So, 
this bit of the base is pretty much done. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for for today. So, if you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button. Um, I can't even think what to say right now. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to hit that like button. If you have any ideas for the series, I guess, comment it down below. And if you enjoyed it especially, please do share it with all of your friends. And if you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe. But anyway, ciao.